for uh, many interpersonal problems a solution can be arrived at only when there is a complete awareness of the problem so when we talk of awareness for a problem let's say interpersonal problems when we say interpersonal problems it means problems between two or more people right there are four levels of awareness that needs to be crossed before the solution uh, can be attempted for it let me give you three examples to make clear what are the four different four levels of awareness let's say in one household the son is having a drug problem no a substance abuse problem and in the second household the husband is uh, having a extramarital affair and in the third household there's a senior citizen a grandfather who is having some symptoms of ill health but not very sure so in this three th things if you see it none of them have still become an interpersonal problem as such you know it's not like one person has to know about the other person's problems for instance the person who is having the issue like the son having the drugs or the husband having the extramarital affair they may not even be thinking that it's a problem right so this is called a closed awareness a closed awareness is the first level of awareness where nobody is aware of a problem but a problem is definitely brewing up right so at closed awareness either people don't think there is a problem or people are just not aware that anything is a problem at all then the awareness of the problem goes to the second level let's say the father discovers you know he kind of uh, uh, mm, mm, he suspects you know like the son could be up to something because there is a smell coming from the son when he comes near him there is a smell of tobacco and weed mixed together or uh, uh, the mother of the uh, child has discovered some substance in his drawer and she has confessed to her husband so there's a kind of you know is there a problem kind of a thing that's coming into the minds of the parents and the son is also beginning to think that maybe the parents are snooping around and could they be aware of it right in the second instance let's say the wife has discovered some messages on her husband's phone and she thinks something is happening here right something that doesn't sound right and she also finds that her husband is not able to account for some of the timing for which he is not available to her and husband begins to think why is the wife asking so many questions and in the third case let's say the um, grandfather has confessed to some symptoms and they have taken him to the hospital so they have run the initial tests and some initial tests have reports have come in and there's a lot of hushed conversation going on in the house right so this is the second level of awareness which is called suspected awareness a suspected awareness is where each of the party thinks there is a problem right now the father and mother of the child think that the son could be having a drug issue and the son is beginning to think that the parents maybe they have already come to know about it in the second instance the wife is suspecting her husband of having an extramarital affair and the husband thinks the wife maybe she is coming to know about it and in the third instance the family thinks yes there could be a problem because now the doctors have advised more serious tests and and the a grandfather is thinking that since the family is not telling him there must be a problem so this is the second level of problem awareness which we call it as suspected awareness then we move on to the third level of problem awareness what happens in the third level of problem awareness the father has confirmed from other sources that his son is having a substance abuse issue and the son also knows that the father knows about it in the second instance the wife has got more evidence and more confirmation of that the husband is having an extramarital affair she knows whom it is with and she has got more details about it so she is totally confirmed that uh, it's no longer a ima her imagination and in the last instance the final reports have come in even the old man has been able to look at the reports but nobody is discussing the problem the third level of problem awareness is called mutual pretense a mutual pretense is when both the parties are aware that there is a problem but they are pretending not to talk about it they are not talking about it at all right sometimes we wonder if both the people know about it why doesn't it come out there are many reasons why it doesn't come out one reason is that you know people are still processing the information you know the parents are processing the information about the drug abuse problem of their son they could also be in a shock the wife could be in a shock because she has discovered her husband is having an extramarital affair and she is really in a shock 
about the information itself secondly the mutual pretense occurs because each person is thinking of how to talk about it should we talk about it at all you know the son could be thinking since my parents know about it maybe i should go and confess to them that i have a, a substance abuse issue and in the second instance the husband could also be thinking like since the wife knows should i tell should i not tell and the wife is also thinking how do how does she confront this issue at all so people are still processing the information so there's a there's a kind of a silence you know but it's a mutual pretense of the problem is not existing one more reason why this mutual pretense comes in is because people could also be thinking that if they ignore the problem for some time it could vanish sometimes what happens is in uh, interpersonal problems when the other person knows that the first person knows about it they might even stop it you know the the parents are assuming since they now they have come to know about the drug problem maybe the son himself will voluntarily stop it or the wife in the second instance is thinking since he is kind of sure about the uh, extramarital affair and the husband is also aware that she knows in a way maybe the husband will stop it and she doesn't have to confront him about the issue at all so mutual pretense occurs for many reasons and mutual pretense is like the problem is there but we're not yet discussing it right and there's a lot of bottled emotions that are going on in the mutual pretense time because there's a lot of churning that's happening in the mind about the problem itself the shock of discovering the problem and then how to deal with the problem right so this is going on in the mutual pretense uh, stage then the problem awareness goes to the final stage which is called as open awareness open awareness is when the problem is just out in the open you know the either the son has come and confessed that he is having a drug issue or the parents have confronted the son saying what's the issue how can we help or whatever other ways uh, they are uh, uh, tackling the issue in the second instance either the husband has come and told the wife that yes he is having an extramarital affair and what does he plan to do with it you know whether he wants to continue or whether he wants to break the marriage whatever it is that he has decided or the wife has confronted the husband saying that i know about this so what are we going to do about this in the third instance the family has talked to the grandfather right this is a medical issue so how do we go about it do we go do we go in for regular procedures or do we just take some palliative uh, care or do we go for alternative medicine what is that you want to do what is that we want to do what are the uh, financial implications of this who else should we inform about this so there's an openness that is coming so when this comes in when the last level of uh, uh, problem awareness comes in the open awareness what what is called is open awareness this is a huge dam that has been burst right so much of emotions that had been contained is now out in the open there's a lot of anger there's a lot of either guilt anger sadness anxiety about what's going to happen in the future so all emotions you know there's a lot of mixed feelings amongst all the participants involved but only when a problem comes to this last stage of problem awareness that's open awareness can it go towards a solution or coping whatever has to be done with it so most of the time all the interpersonal problems go through these four levels of problem awareness